When we look around at the night sky, even on a clear night, we see hundreds and thousands of stars constantly present all around us and actually not even be able to spot sometimes are transient events, phenomena that last a mere few seconds or days or weeks, sometimes months, but are temporary. Some examples of such transient events are of course supernovae, when a star dies and becomes brightly visible before dimming down. Another specific example is something called a cow, a space cow, which is also a type of supernova. It is the most brightest and energetic kind of stellar death and we've observed just a handful before. Now astronomers report another super bright cow event called AT 2020 MRF. It is among the most brightest supernovae that we've seen and is giving us a lot of insight into how black holes and neutron stars are born and how supernovae range in their variety. In this video, we'll discuss this cow event, other cow events and spectacular stellar explosions that are supernovae. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. The most massive stars die mind-blowing and stellar material blowing deaths. When heavy stars run out of fuel, they collapse into themselves in a spectacular explosion called a supernova. There are various kinds of supernovae depending on what drives the mechanism, whether it is the core collapse of a very heavy star or a white dwarf or a thermal runaway nuclear fusion of a white dwarf accreting material. The energy release mechanism is however similar. There is a sudden spike in extreme temperature and density and in that bright flash of light, all the mass gets pulled together into a small area at the core. This process ultimately forms a neutron star or in the case of a more massive star, a black hole. Sometimes material falling back into the black hole can even create relativistic jets that can emit gamma rays. The type of supernova and the amount of energy released across the electromagnetic spectrum as well as its luminosity in visible light varies depending on what the progenitor's properties were. The progenitor is the original body that exploded in a supernova. But whatever the case, whatever the type of progenitor might be, supernovae are transient and typically very bright. They are typically bright in visible light. Many can be observed with the naked eye and have been. They can last for days or even months. Supernovae produce heavy elements across the periodic table and are the source for these elements in the universe. The Big Bang produced hydrogen, helium and lithium only. All other elements in the periodic table are created within stars and or in supernovae. In 2018, astronomers captured a supernova that was extraordinarily bright and appeared in the sky overnight instead of slowly brightening. It was estimated to be about 200 million light years away from Earth, which in cosmic terms is relatively close. Watching the incredible rate at which the event was growing in brightness, astrophysicists across the world started requesting access to telescopes to observe it. Quickly, it became apparent that the supernova appeared to be a black hole that was ripping another star apart. A star or a body like a black hole ripping another star apart is also one of the traditional sources of supernovae. They named this supernova SN2018 COW, although it is more commonly known as AT2018 COW. AT here stands for the Atlas Telescopes through which it was first spotted and COW is coincidental stemming from the alphabetical naming convention for supernovae. But since that was the first cow to be observed, such events are just now called cows. Cows glow brightly in X-rays and radio, and the latest one is even brighter than the first one, about 20 times as bright. Astronomers first noticed the supernova in visible light in 2020. Then, another team that was studying this noticed that there were sudden X-rays in the location a year later. Immediately, the two teams thought of cows, which were typically the only type of supernovae known to glow so brightly in X-rays. 
a year since the supernova astronomers turned out to be correct and they were able to observe it brightly in x-ray why these supernovae are so bright and what drives them is not completely accurately known there is a theory out there that states that there is some source of energy for the supernova in the core this could either be a black hole that is swallowing matter or a neutron star that's spinning and releasing tremendous amounts of energy Although we don't know what's at the core, the supernova is still clearer than most with less material around the core. It seems that stars that go on to become cows start to slowly eject material before becoming a supernova. As a result, the area around the star itself becomes denser with material, but the star starts to lose matter and holds less material. So when it explodes, there is less gas which allows x-rays to escape. The shock wave from the collapse heats up the dense environment which then glows brightly in radio waves. The authors of the paper think that AT2020 MRF, the latest cow, ejected even more material than 2018 cow and thus was glowing even brighter. The latest cow is only the fifth ever cow to be observed but this will now start to become a new category of supernova. Cows can give insights into what goes on in the core during a supernova and also help us understand how black holes and neutron stars are born through these bright events. They seem to be rare seeing as we've recorded just a handful, but all the ones we've recorded and observed have been in the last five years. Now that scientists know what to look for, there are going to be many, many more space cows that we will be observing in the future and these will further our understanding of how stars evolve and die.